I'm Meg Kennard, national politics reporter for the Associated Press. One of the candidates I've been following closely in the 2024 GOP presidential nomination battle is Nikki Haley. The former South Carolina governor, who also served in the Trump administration as United Nations ambassador, has been angling to pick up some momentum as the first votes of the campaign draw nearer in the Iowa caucuses. Haley has for months been competing for a distant second place to Donald Trump, who has been dominant in the GOP field thus far. She's been competing with a handful of other candidates, including biotech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Haley has picked up backing from Americans for Prosperity, a major grassroots group that was begun by the Koch brothers and now has become one of those organizations that can help candidates really build out ground game, especially in states like Iowa, where grassroots activity is vital for candidates competing for the GOP nomination. Recently on the campaign trail, Haley has said that Trump was the right president at the right time, continuing to complement some of the policies that they worked on together in terms of dealing with other countries and at the United Nations. But Haley now says that her former boss is too chaotic of a person to lead the GOP or to serve as the next U.S. president. That comes as Trump is facing multiple indictments in a variety of jurisdictions in federal and state courts. It's unclear what Haley's building momentum could mean for other candidates in the race, like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. When he launched his campaign earlier this year, there was a lot of fanfare and a lot of energy around DeSantis's effort. But as the months of the campaign have gone on, he has been met with some struggles, including making some staffing shifts to combat a high burn rate of his campaign fundraising dollars. There have also been opportunities that he would have liked to have had, but Haley got, like the endorsement from AFP. Haley and DeSantis may also find themselves facing off in another direction. That's for the competition of the donors whose dollars will continue to fund their efforts going into the votes in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina.